Well, hello, hi, how are you guys doing? Welcome to the show. This is Entertainment News right here on YTV4 TV, your favorite youth channel. My name is Philine across all socials. And of course, if you are joining us for the first time, you don't know what the show is all about. We're all about celebrity gossip. Udakum Shene. We are doing all catch up. What have our celebrities been up to? Nani Mefanya Nini. We're gonna be telling you all about the juices gossip right here on the show. And of course, to help me break the stories down is our very own Mwangis, as we call him. <laughs> Hi! Hi, hi, hi. It's a good time. And thanks for always having me on the show. You must yeah. welcome. Mm hmm. Dako, Tirumi, Nafunguka, anytime from now. Right. Kapepete, Kachai, Kachai, Kakisonga, Kakisonga. So don't go, stay tuned. <laughs> That's right. The hashtag is white for updates. Now we're going to be crossing over home to talk to our other panelists. You know, because of social distancing, we can't have everybody in studio due to coronavirus. But guess what? We have other guys that actually we only have one person today at home. We have Ron. He's very new to the show. He's been here the last two shows. If you've been following the show, you already know that. He's going to be saying hello. We're going to be joining him virtually. But we're going to go first to our first story. And he'll join us later for the comments, right? Okay. Now that's our comment. Okay. Now that we have filters. Tafadali. Yes. Okay, just to clarify, what he means is that Kunatu what on TV, like the moment like my face and his face is on TV, Alakwana and Zaku record Nastimiake and I take care filters. That's not shit. Not funny. Well, well, well. But that's actually really funny. Anyway, <laughs> moving on <laughs> to our first story. Control Vashal, radio presenter Felix Oduor, alias Jalas, and his cl close male friends have been trading for the better part of the week for allegedly cheating on their wives with different women. The expose started on Facebook pages before it went viral when blogger Edgar Obare picked it up. Now, Jalango has, however, come out to deny the allegations on his Instagram page saying that Edgar just has bad blood with him but when the heat <laughs> became too much to bear he was forced to remove the comment section with Edgar on the other side asking him to take responsibility. Now music producer Ted Josiah was very furious at revelations as he asked the boys club to stop being predators and deeming women while drinking themselves stupid while former Taidi High actor OJ and Effie Saint sided with Jalas and his team saying that it was their lives to live. Yes! <laughs> Alright, so there is Ted Josiah. I'm actually going to read what he said. Ted Josiah said this. Now, you are a celebrity, meaning you are celebrated. For mm -hmm. what? For deeming women? For drinking yourself stupid? For all the drugs you can consume? Who? What? All right. Now, brothers, when you become predators attacking vulnerable women with your little money just because you know they need it and you can use your cash to hurt, misuse, and abuse them, know this. God can and will take that money you are using as a tool to hurt other people. He can and will take that celebrity status you are using to hurt other people. He can and will bring you to your road to Damascus in quotes and trust me to Saul like Saul rather you will become Paul don't test God just because you are a celeb but don't let's raise our daughters to know better men and no men can be better than these okay mixed feelings <laughs> I don't know there's so many mixed reactions on this so uh, what happened now these pages, especially oh, shout out to Edgar Barry by the way. Tinas, yes. So he posted. <laughs> it, it didn't start with him though. Um, there are other pages on Facebook that had posted these stories, and then Edgar picked it up. Apparently, one of the boys' club they call. You know, remember um, who, who Bob, yeah. the one that used to be at, at Safaricom. Uh, may he rest in peace. Him and he and uh, Peter Kenneth and Jeff Koinange, they had a boys' club. So uh, Jalango and his boys also started another boys' club. That's boys' club too. Yeah, so according to Boys Club, too, their um, WhatsApp, their WhatsApp conversations were leaked. 
in which walikuwa na ringiana nani hapo na mademu wengi sijui nani amendoz na nani just like very stupid things i think vizinyo watu wa primary wanafaa kuwa nafanya i don't think like a uh, grown men should be sharing who they've been intimate with if you ask me but i don't know so the story is kind of got out of hand it went viral everybody had a lot to say kuna watu walikuwa saidia kina jealous other people walikuwa saidia like uh they were saying that that's really bad especially for jealous being a public figure anyway so jealous today on his instagram he posted akasema like um you know <laughs> when a man falls <laughs> I don't know you're not supposed to laugh but you're supposed to learn from it. But then so many comments were negative so akatoyo comment section he actually took their comment section private. Now you can't actually comment on the on on the, on the status and it's just like a lot a lot of things happening. So so I'm going to start with Ronald who is uh, following up at home at home here what he thinks about this and then I'm going to be coming back to studio to talk to Danny. So Ronald what's up? Hey, hapa nao wa Kenya walifanya vibaya. Jalango hakuna kitu amefanya. There's nothing. There's nothing I'm seeing. Hakuna hakuna offense yote in Jalango amefanya. Look at it from this direction. Now, even during Jesus uh, time, remember there was a woman that was supposed to be stoned to death. What did, did Jesus say? If at all you've never done it, please cast the first stone. It's because we normally crucify pe- people from their own wrong doings. We are not seeing our own doings. Let's not crucify Jalash. There's nothing Jalash has done. In fact, he apologized and we took it in, we digested it and we accepted. Let's just accept and move on. These things normally happen in WhatsApp groups. Ni mama tu moja aliko kwa hiyo group mwenye alitoa hii information nje and that is the person we're supposed to crucify. So anything that is going to happen to uh, Jalash right now, please Jara, uh, Jalash, just take it positively. Things will normally happen and just move on. Okay? Anything that is going to happen next, please take it positively. Yes. Ron, chida matamchi kwanza nimekuwa hapo kwa Jalash. 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 Hey. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway the, the, the big picture is this. So Ron is siding with Jalash apparently. You know like kama hujawahi kosea then cast the first stone, you know? I don't know. Well, what are your thoughts? It's, as I said it's mixed feelings. Mm-hmm. Unajua what what they did wrong and yeah. trust you me. Um any man out there Manze, easy conversations in Akwanga. The big mm. problem is mm. now going on record, typing messages. As in, we should say, we should have time. Ya kuingia kwa group ya WhatsApp, munatangeza group ya WhatsApp, ya waseka wa tatu wa nne, and then you start talking about ladies. How do you even get the... Simu yako, unaweza aje kutype vitu zingine kwa nini kwa simu. Like, these are the things you don't even want, you know, You just you just want to keep them to yourselves and yeah. anything, you don't even want anyone to know about it. Ushona gani kana unaweka ka kadogo tu you know kadogo tu sasa manzi hasa wako na nitty gritties. Yeah. Detail by detail mpaka wako na ranking kama uliona hiyo WhatsApp. Yeah, there's a ranking like who's the yeah. baddest of them Who? all. Kuna number one, and kuna ring leader. Kuna wale wenye mashikilia hivi. And I want to make this clear. Yeah. The bob in that group sio mimi. Sio mimi. The boys club that I know hey, hey, but anyway the boys mm-hmm. get, went went out of hand yeah. doing what they're doing and trying to demean ladies in such a way yeah. it's bad yeah. I really don't feel that vibe Actually the worst part is that um, there are people when you're like ringa with women that are not there exactly. people who are posting women like oh by the way actually the wor- actually that's not the worst part the worst part is that they pass women around they're like ah, Unisha kwa na yeye sasa wewe unaweza take over like who even does that I love this one number two, they are like we take a photo with you unaenda una post unasema ah unaona huyu ni wangu huyu ni wangu you can download anyone's photo and lie about it I think that's not correct like you should just post the women you've been with and please don't even post women like no. don't let it just be between you and the woman i don't think i don't think anyone will appreciate that who, who and that's why bedroom affairs i think the back you go bedroom that is just me if you ask me who did josiah ni kama alikosewa kwani eh huyu msia ko salty masema no he's not salty he is a dad who is raising a daughter i don't know if it's one or daughters and he's turning 50 so he is wise he has seen it all i'm saying <laughs> that he's not he he's turning 50 is wise no but he's 50 if you're turning 50 you're wise who knows 
I know oh, that. Because go. he even said it. Oh, oh, he actually did a video. He did another video on his Instagram and he said that he's going to be turning 50. So, of course, he has made mistakes that he regrets. But mm. being a dad, two daughters, you wouldn't want anyone. Your daughter being treated in such a manner. I think that was like really uh, uh, wrong. Uh, uh, okay, so to the last thing I'm going to say this. Um, anyone can make a mistake if that is a mistake. I but at, a mistake. At, at least like, just take responsibility. No, you know? Take responsibility. Don't blame. <laughs> other people for your own <laughs> mistakes i think like it's about time you take personal responsibility maybe and i don't know he said it's lies so okay but is there a way you can fake all that yeah, there are so many sensitive things we can't even say on air but there are some Adult content that is circulating on social media from you, like what? Nichama! Ni yeah, Nichama! So, kuna content in Guinea, like there, there, there's some adult videos that are, that are leaked. It's, it's, also, oh, by the way, on the, still on the boys' club, <laughs> well, poor, there's one of the boys' club members, his name is Sam. Alisema, he never knew like a friend could do that. So actually, he, <laughs> Alisema, kuna beste moja, aliwauza. Whoever leaked of this. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Your screenshot. Junior, <laughs> <laughs> I think there are ten of them. So I'm just trying to like figure out. Ni nani siyo ni koi conversation. Kuna snitch. Kuna snitch koi. They have a snitch. Hey, muli. So whoever the snitch is. Hey, the last man zepo leni. Anyway, we're gonna go do the next story. Now, Jimmy. Wow. <laughs> All right. White paper updates. That's the hashtag. And I'm going to be actually sending love your way. So if you're watching, make sure you're on white to paper. That's our Facebook. We have photos and we're actually live. So you can watch on Facebook if you're just going to leave the house. Oh, don't leave the house. This cafe. <laughs> I almost forgot that. So do this. Just go on the comment section, comment, and I'm going to be shouting you out at the end of the show, right? Now, Jamaican dancehall artist. Uh, actually legend he's not an artist he's a legend uh, vibes cartel is currently in prison serving a life sentence for the alleged murder of clive uh, lizard williams but he remains active on social media and has actually continues to release music behind bars. Vibes posted on his Instagram a picture of his 16-year-old son, Akil Rahim Palmer, and an expectant, an expectant girlfriend congratulating them. Though some people thought they were too young to be having kids, and Katel should be encouraging their behavior. Yes, that is Vibes Katel, and he said, congrats to me, son and daughter and extended family that's what's up you know we're so happy for them but at the same time the son is 16 so if he is 16 you can imagine how old the lady is but i'm just gonna go uh, i don't know should i start with ronald or you free All world right, i'm gonna boss. start with you Stein, Tanzan, free <laughs> world boss but manzea pametufanya vibaya well okay i understand maybe the legal age there but 16 years you already Very like, young. you know, looking at that uh, chick, uh, that 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 mother to be, mm -hmm. you can tell that most likely, is he bully and is he tattoo? Yeah. Manjua, it's gone ahead, maybe like six months or so. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine this kid got somebody pregnant, maybe in fifteen, most likely. Yeah. Fifteen, How? fourteen. How? Yeah. Oh, so you're fifteen, fourteen. Napa Kenya wakwapi. Hey. <laughs> Now, if you right. pick a so, teacher, if you give us that. So, some people thought that like, they are really young, so vibes that are fake, we are um, exactly. extended family and vouching for them. But I don't know, Ronald, what do you have to say about this? Uh -uh. E, 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 vibes. <laughs> vibes, okay, for me, vibes. Um, I just find it In uh, the old days, uh, during those times of our grandfathers, four four grandfathers, when uh, a young guy, I'm a, a boy, will do such a thing, do you know what the father will say or the grandfather? You see, so it's not something new, and in fact, umona even vibes mwenyami and congratulate kasema kudos. Yen kazi safi sana umefanya. So siki to new. Ah, in ni akawida tu things will normally happen to these small boys alafu kiona venye genge tu msai imevuma na watu what they are talking about why not things will always just happen yes i cannot even believe him he's like at going back 
Ati, going back ine, where? <laughs> where? <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually my grandma got married, I think at 17. Do you, do you know do you know what people are doing in those times? <laughs> and do you know that um, But there was no girls were not going to school then only quite two. Like you used to stay home. Ebonga lo kijana vile anatoshana. Unajua mtu yu primary those times Rona na ongelelea alikuwa hadi karibu apige mwalimu. <laughs> Nani yako prima ni class 8 7 na hapo. Kwa sababu bigi umbo na zaliwa familia. They used to be very very. Angalia ndio kijana hapa kana sema atika kwa 16 hapa. Hapa tena ndio kwa anajua kwa hesabu miaka walikuwa na tunjoy. Walikuwa na family. I'm just kidding. Walikuwa na family. Okay. Okay. Anyway, the hashtag is why it is for updates. Now, oh we're going to go to the next story. Now, Tycoon Mze Jackson Kibor now wants six of his sons to undergo DNA tests to verify if he, um, they are indeed uh, oh, okay if he indeed he is their father before they can inherit any of his wealth Mze accused his children of attempting to sell sections of 1250 acre land as they had done to some of other properties within Nairobi and Mombasa he however emphasized that he never married his wife Jepto and that's why he needed paternity tests done to ascertain that he is their biological father all right. <laughs> so there was a court case, yeah? We're going to Casey Gotini. And then Mze Ali Akashinda Casey. Because some of his, um, the signs, allegedly they effect some documents, wakauza property, but uh, he is still alive. Najapatiana property to anyone. But I don't know, is he going too far? Nini mashinda ambayo watu kama Jackson Kibor, Mze Simba, wako nini? Hini mashinda wanapitianga? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine, so I don't know. Like for a father, is he going too far? No, he's not. All right. So um, there is. Uh, <laughs> At these children are disturbing me. I say, ma, ha, watoto yangu ni wakora. Kwa sababu waliuza nyumba yangu Karen Nairobi na wakauza ingine nyali Mombasa. Yo, ana sema. Hawa watoto wanasumbua nitapeleka DNA, DNA ni hakikishe kama ni wangu ama si wangu kwa sababu mimi si kwa mama yao <laughs> and I give all right all right now keep all six children Ezekiel keep nge teach Elkana keep play ting Evans keep cause gay Eric um there's chumba. Eric there's um Eric keep chumba Raymond keep be talk and Edwin keep co H those are his sons. Nana sema wana msumbua. Lekini kuna wakati watoto waneza kuhuthi. Ati huu wapeleke DNA. Usemea mimi si msumbufu hivi ya watoto. Lekini hizi pia ni rich people's problems. You know. Unajua sisi tulikuwa tunasumbua azazi. Ile threat ulikuwa napatiwa ni moja. Takupeleka wa momo. Unajua wa momo kwenye hiko? Takupeleka. Hii na itako juve na LCG. Ntaenda huko nita kupeleka huko. Hiyo ndi ilikuwa threat. Unati. Unasikia huu mjamana atishia watoto watu kia aje. Takupeleka DNA. No, 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 but that is for <laughs> for property. You know, Johnny, ni property. So Aki could disinherit Mazze. You know, he's 86, 86 <laughs> years old. <laughs> if he disinherits you and he raised you, <laughs> you that that pain slaps differently. I think it's just too much. <laughs> but anyway, Ronald, what do you have to say about this? Mazze Kibor, chairman. Yeah, major chairman of men's conference. Akisha sema amesema tunaenda DNA na DNA lazima ifanywe lazima tujue watu wananyanganya shamba ni wangu ama si wangu pengine hata waliko nimekuwa nikidanganywa wase wamekuwa kinichezea tu chini ya maji hapa you never know what happens with the, some people at times ama wana tu hasa wanajigawia shamba and I'm still alive so that means if I die hata hata ni kama hata nizika kwa hizi mashamba hata ni tupa huko Indian Ocean huko eh well, lazima tufanye DNA tujue ni watoto wangu ama si wangu. Mbona wananizika kabla sija dedi? Eh yeah, kuna jiko gawa shamba in uh, the African traditional setup. Yeah it's it's very offensive. That's why this guy has to go just go and do a DNA. It's okay. It's allowed. Let him just do a DNA. And then ajio kama watu ni wake ama si wake. Ama ni wakora tu fulani. Sawa sawa. Yeah. I cannot even believe that you're okay with this right I mean no but for me if if you raised me since I was young, until I'm of age, I love to do but then you see babako. I I don't know how I'll take it. You know? Because we have even men that are raising kids that are not their own. Now when I do to see wangu and they're still raising them. So I don't know what to speak of that. Um I, I, 
In terms of property, the son shouldn't be fighting property Ababaya while he's still alive. But in terms of like being a father, I think that that's going overboard. No. I think that's like too much. Ameamua. Namzea kiamua, ameamua. Only chairman. What to be shanagi na ya? Sibi shero na babu. So, Wesley, and on that note, the hashtag is white people of the slave. Go. Two. Our next story, actually. I almost said our first story. It's actually our fourth story. Hashtag white people of the Now, Kenyan singer Esther Akothe is set to share the stage with Diamond Platinum, Stu Baba, and other African stars in the COVID-19 Hope for Africa concert, which is organized by MultiChoice and One Africa organization. Now, the three hour our televised special feature uh, this three hours per special sorry i'll check that again the three hour tele televised special will feature performances by top african music artists as well as appearances by media icons and other prominent personalities on the continent the covid 19 hop for africa concert is part of its <coughs> efforts in supporting the eradication of the coronavirus currently plaguing africa and the rest of the world now the funding raised from the concert will be dedicated to ensuring the safety and well-being of health care professionals across the continent and Okay, I'm gonna go to Ron and then come and sample some. Okay, your comment right here, right? Mm. Okay, Ronald. Wanzo, watch a nini na akodha enda perform. Yeah, she's always a performer. Do you know akodha is an inspiration to many? She will always just steal the show at any point. Kitu yenye tu number two, akodha ukienda uko tafadhali. Zile ma sarakasi na zile ma acrobatic styles tafadhali mazuri sisi fanya uko. Eh, huko unajua tuko na wazungu eh, na tutaki kuchoma picha so ukiishia huko kuna style zingine jaribu ku reserve mm. we are watching we are watching tuko tu chini maji tutoko tuna ku watch so mzi just do it one and another diamond platinums platinums as usual this is the face of east africa lakini lazima tujiulize watu wa mgambaji wako wapi watu wa uji wako wapi yeah, because um, the two are the only nominees for uh, to perform in the in that event. So to me, let Akothe go and do her thing. Lakini acrobatic Z. I don't know. Actually, he's a, a Ugandan performer. He's he's a young guy, but the name LK or some L something. I've forgotten his name, but there's a Ugandan performer. I think it's just in East Africa. I think they took like from every country they took one representative. So Akote is the one representing Kenya. Okay. I know so many people who are like, why not Nashinsky? I mean we have Saudi Soul. Why Akote? Like do you agree with their choice? No Akote is good. You know yeah. what what I think I really feel is that Akote understands that part where charity, uh, the, the charity uh, aspect. That is true. Akothe Foundation yes. and other And bringing her on board, stuff. It's, it's actually cutting, cutting, uh, trying to kill two birds with one stone. Right. She's a musician at the same time. She's uh, a philanthropist. Yes. Yeah. And so there's going to be all of this. But to Simba, we know. Tunajua. <laughs> After hiyo, serikali imefanya makosa sana. Iyo, iyo concert iku wapi? Uh, I've never actually confirmed the venue, uh, but I haven't, I haven't confirmed the venue yet, yeah. Hapo kuna toka jambo. Ah, uh, uh, uskwe. Uskwe. Ngoja. Ngoja. Si, si, like si tuko hapa. Uh -huh. Si tuko hapa. Uh -huh. Chibudu, chibude. Aende tu. Atarini na mtu. Ui. Ui, ui. Yala, unacheza. Iyo ilikuwa lazima. <laughs> tuko hapa. <laughs> Story tatoka huko. Oi. <laughs> Achani ni na diamond. My shout out to you, Akothe, by the way. Don't Akothe, please. you're doing great work. And it, it's good to see that someone else is seeing True, that. Yeah. So, Kenya to the world. Congratulations, right? Okay, we're going to go to the next story. You know, <laughs> singer Tanasha Donna posted a photo on her Instagram yesterday like she normally would, but that's not what caught the attention of Kenyans. Now, Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko was among those in the comment section where he commented with a bomb emoji <coughs> On Tanasha's photo. Fans quickly noticed and asked him whether he was interested in Tanasha and replied, and I quote, Wacheni Mbayambay. He actually replied, Wacheni Mbayambay. Nini, you know? So, <laughs> but I don't know. Like, um, 
should uh, should, should should he be commenting on like uh Tanasha's photo you know kuna there's a kuna mali tumemweka yeye kama yeye kama governor sonko there's, there's some level of respect what I'm saying yeye ni leader yeah, i don't know okay. but, but lakini yeye ni kijana pia you understand so kaenda aka aka post bomb you know bomb that means like it's hot like yo, you know yeah, yeah. so kuna ngina anamwambia eh maze fisi sijui yeah. nini Why would you ask him that? <laughs> But it's a good thing. It's a good thing. But Pia <laughs> was like, "Hey, yes, so that he actually commented 100. Those I'll comment like 100. Actually she posted two photos. Mota like this one akeka 100 and the other one akeka the bomb emoji. So <laughs> I'm just like, I have like hata mimi pia kusikiza muziki bana. Acha ni za obvious. And he was just like chatting with guys in the comment section like was like like msquiva, you know, msquena hiyo ro. I mean, okay, I'm going to sample some of the comments, right? Right here we have Alex movie and I want to he ni pick si music. Club back. Hapo na hapo. Kevin Omondi atimwesh vipi? Um alafu I am Juliana mwambia ati rada ni gani? Janani smakai ati unajua ile ya gari. Oh no, no, no. Ana about Trika, about Trika underscore Haro ana mwambia haina detected. Fisimita. Yeah. Alafu mwingine anamwambia utaweka kitu huku tukisikiza gene. And then someone else who told him fisilet detected. Like mwana mleta gavana wenyu fisi maze, yeah. Why you guys doing that? And um All right, ati na kuona boss. Mwingine anamwambia ati our man never takes chance. Kaje alimuliza songo la fire nini hapa? Yeah, doctor. Doctor, is it doctor K E or what? Doctor K E guys, anamwambia unafanya nini hapa? Like why not? He is a public figure. Ni nini mzee mko hivyo? Kuna Mama Justo William Cute anamwambia governor tulia. Hapana, <laughs> wajeni manze. Ah, uh, manze acheni mbaya mbaya. Yeah, that's why he, he was actually replying on me. Wajeni mbaya mbaya. Slayer is anamwambia tutawezana. Oh, I don't tell us no one for life that's a fun page and I'm mm. Mr. Governor Tiamo utawezana. Manze mheshi wetu ni nguvu. <laughs> Ati liki manje anamwambia liki mzee anamwambia na kitambi utaweza Tutadhani iko hacked design nowadays and comment kwa celebs Ati governor acha tamaa toka hapa like what okay, okay by the way my my son called like our governor recently amekuwa tu kienda kwa kwa nini kwa pages za ma celeb ki comment anamwambia ati hiyo bomb ni ya nini ni aje boss be safe um and this man has tells him to pay tender to kulete rice kwa bifo in covid 19 package kwa kenya na biashara okay mwingine anamwambia um mheshimiwa kumbe hata wewe uko hapa she's truly a bomb that's a fact but she's really pretty so shout out to tanasha and i what's wrong with that i mean tanasha she's single right wona na shida po shida hakuna Hakuna <laughs> shida. Unajua no, he is married so kuna shida. Hakuna mali ya declare intent. No, we... Haku declare intent. Mm-hmm. Tuelewa neni? Mm-hmm. Hakuna mali alisimama akasema mm-hmm. mimi nataka kujaribu nione kama nitawezana. Hakufanya hivyo. Yeye yeah, aliingia akarusha bomb alafu akaeka 100%. Hiyo yeah. makosa ni gani? Mm-hmm. Sasa kama ange slide DM alafu tuzione kwa tea room pale kwa Edgar tunge, <laughs> tungeongea. <laughs> Kama sijafika kwa Edgar. Mzee endelea na hiyo maisha. Usiambiwe kitu. Ngoja. Ngoja. Kisoka ijafika kwa Edgar bado. Kama ijafika bado tuko sawa. Tuko sawa. Hi, hi. Shout out to Mike Songo. Shout out to Mhesh and shout out to Tanasha. Down at the hashtag is Y254 updates. Now because of time we're going to go to our last story. Now members of the Kardashian and Jenna family have new iPhones delivered once a week to sell film footage for the next season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians from home during the coronavirus pandemic. It is said a showrunner exchanges new iPhones for the ones containing the footage and in total the Kardashians record around 16 hours of footage although it varies by family member. Ma- yani 
Sisi hata tuna moja atujafika bei ya hiyo 11 Pro na kuna watu wanaletewa iPhone mpya kila wiki like what what is, why okay i can know i'm going to start with you mi mi kitu nisumbua ni at they take those phones to offload content yeah and then where do those phones go of course since they've signed in i think with their accounts it's still there sh- they should do a giveaway right? i know they should How do a giveaway on their six? pages no sita simple yeah. come imagine simu sita kila wiki and then they shoot for like three months hizo ni simu ngapi kuna mchezo sana. Iphone 11 Pro kila wiki kila wiki kila wiki kila wiki. Kila wiki mpya. Kila wiki mpya. Right. Na sisi hapa uh, eh hey, bado tunasumbuliwa na counterfeit goods. Wao wanaletoa original goods weekly. Imagine. Levels. All right, so so hey. you, it, like, what? I cannot. <coughs> Enye kuna kuna kuna, kuna <coughs> level of richness. <coughs> kuna ile watu kuna watu wako hapa they are worth like maybe even 500k. Now wanasumbua watu. Yes, Alafu kuna watu. Now they are the Kardashians. People have new phones every week for no reason. Ronald. <laughs> like what is happening? I have to hear from you. Ni 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 mazao watu kwa iPhone kila wiki mpya. You know. Ati do they need clarity? <laughs> hey, Buddha. <laughs> Ronald, what's up? There are certain brands you ukiongelea okay, inafaa uwe humble sana. iPhone, iPhone, Apple. Asa wanapatiwa Apple ama iPhone weekly per week. Yaani wako tu sawa tu wakiuma tu ki Apple per week. Wanauma tu i wanatoa hiyo side nyingine ya Apple. Sio unajina kwa na mwanya moja. Sasa wana shindanga tu wamekiuma. Yaani some people are very very lucky. But anyway, unajua Kardashian is also a brand by on its own. So ukicheki tu vipoa venye wana they are running their own things. It's okay let them just own uh, the iPhones. But now iPhone 11 Pro Max that's a machine. Wa, ndio kuna kampuni zingine zikikupatia offer. Wao umeshaomoka. Mimi naomba tu ni ite tu ni kwa garbage boy ni wako tange tu hizo yenye umetumia pa week mimi na ninachukua. Pa week nachukua. Kama hiyo Rona amekubali. Maze ostia. Eshima, <laughs> yani kuna brands zingine usemi tu you supposed to put some respect on it. Like yeah, they are, they are not lucky, they are blessed, Maze. Those people are blessed. I don't know, Dennis. What do I for? Na tu sipumua, mna charge hata simu kwa embassy. Ni sawa? Ni sawa. Sasa hata mnaweza mnaletewa daily, weekly. Ni sawa? Hata hatujasikia vibaya, ni sawa tu. Yani film unajua Hey. <laughs> yani una unaletewa iPhone leo una suit. Alafu you know, the worst part is they're not using them to call. No. They're just using them to shoot content. This yeah. is record content. To record content, unapeana unapewa nyingine. Anyway, so <laughs> shout out to everybody watching the show. Let's do this. Let me shout out to some guys right here on Facebook. I have Kevin Mojax and asema um uoga nayo. <laughs> Watafungua mlango ya gari kichapo nayo ametoka sel maze ametoka selfie ingine blari kwa giza yani <laughs> Watu wa kafi guys make sure you get home on time yeah just make sure you do that I love Maurice Jacob Makoha and as my white people updates watching from Kaka Mega big up Kaka Mega Kevin Leon nimepatikana lockdown nimenipata Eldoret niko kwa May ha, May hadi asubuhi kwa maindi <laughs> ndio <laughs> Mkarabati Gwiji wa Kayole thank you so much Mka- okay and i have mashua saba sababu locked <laughs> kama kawa thank you so much Duncan Ngure and then i have Duncan Sparks what are your last remarks as they take the final comments <coughs> apa we mimi vile nitasema now that we have gotten to this point where people you know, see at only last week things are just adjusting like we we get into a point where we might be able to stay with this thing for longer so you just have to adapt to this thing and uh, 
Maze, we've been calling every time, stay safe, stay safe, social distancing. Nayo kitu tusiwache. Yeah. So I want to mention three people. Mm -hmm. Wakwanza. Kevin Makataya. Tafadhali wachana na sisi. Unatueka <laughs> filters. Iyo ni kesi. Mm -hmm. Wapili ni wini. It's okay. a very good friend of mine. And uh, number three, of course, I'll uh, see as because I can mention Sarah. She's always been watching. So, oh. Santeri Sana. Shout out to them. Now, I have like um, a couple of people watch it, And then we call it, uh, we, we wrap up. Blacky Eyes. I have uh, Dan Sparks, Muhammad, Kevin Madox, Ramsey, PS. And then my WhatsApp people right here. Let me see who's watching. Oh, DJ Karik. Hi. Karik. Shout out to you. Esther. <laughs> Yeah, my cousin is tuned in. Esther, thank you so much. Dandola, shout out to you. Brandon, Pato, hi Pato. Sean, this framer, there's so many of you. Thank you so much for watching the show. We do appreciate it. And shout out to everybody. MCK, Hafuluim Boko. Shout out to JC Mugure. Hi, mommy. And uh, <laughs> shout out to who else? Junil. Junil Biatora, our Jeanette. Italian babe. Shout out to you as well for making the show. And everybody who made the show possible, there's Morse, there's Timor, there's Rose, it, it takes a village, like I keep telling you, but thank you so much for watching, I'm going to see you again next uh, week, but for now, you know, just take care of yourself, don't be a statistic, you can be a statistic, kukua, ile number 40, you number 41, sabiwa. don't be a statistic, so make sure you take care of yourself, wash your hands with running water and soap, and we're going to be alright, and we're going to see you again next week with another amazing show, bye! Hello, guys. It's always been a good time. <laughs> Sanchez, Sana. And uh, yes, continue. Now, who are you? Sanchez.